how to set up Clavio in Shopify, integrate Clavio with Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with integration of Shopify and Clavio. Clavio is a email marketing center or hub where you can get started with building your campaigns, workflows, automations, and more. Clavio can help you in growing your audience and building informative and useful content that can help in boosting your leads, engagement, and sales. So how can you build a connection between Clavio and Shopify? Because we are all trying to get started with our stores and our e-commerce businesses, but sometimes not being able to integrate different platforms onto each other can be a really big hassle. So to do that, simply head on over to Shopify and open up your Shopify dashboard. Once you have opened up your Shopify dashboard, click on apps and then you will see apps and sales channels. Now, I have installed Clavio previously, but I'm going to uninstall and show you guys step by step how you can actually install Clavio. So, you're going to open up the Shopify App Store from the top right. And once you open up the Shopify App Store, you're going to search for Clavio. So, once you search for Clavio in the Shopify App Store, you will see a few different Clavio applications. Now, the two actual Clavio applications are actually Clavio Reviews and Clavio Email Marketing and SMS. Now, we're going to be downloading Clavio Email Marketing and SMS. So, I'm just going to download that over here. Now, once you have downloaded it, you're just going to proceed with the installation. And once we have installed Clavio, you will see the integration option. So you will see your connection details, the on-site tracking, and all of the information. And you have historical data. So you can click on import over here and you can import any data that you have on Shopify and get that data for you to be able to find it all on Clavio. Now, once you do that, you have your sync settings from Shopify. But let's say after that, I want my sync settings to Shopify. So you're going to click on to Shopify over here. And then you can sync your data from Clavio to Shopify as well. Then after that, you have just your basic standard data options. But once we have completed that, you can just click on update settings on the bottom right. And once you have completed that, that is all you have to do to connect Clavio and Shopify. Now... A lot of people say that, okay, I've integrated it, but what exactly is the purpose or the usefulness of using Clavio? So there is a lot of different things you can do with Clavio. One of my most favorites is actually lead generation and converting your potential leads into actual revenue generating sales. So to do that, you can go into Clavio and you can go into sign up forms. Now, this is usually one of my first forms that I create on Clavio, which is a form that is going to be integrated to our Shopify store where I can provide, you know, a incentive for my customers to sign up or just a incentive to sign up and provide their email or just a a newsletter offer so you can click on add forms to website and you have the form installation you have to sign the code or you can just click on your integration settings and you can just turn integration settings on on your shopify store check form installation so you guys can see you have your sign up forms installed now i can click on create my own sign up form and i'll build my own sign up form so the purpose of this is to collect emails and let's say that I want to use this one over here. It just says looking for something, stay up to date on our restocks and our new products. And I can choose who I want this to appear to. So I can choose a particular subscriber list. So I will just choose my preview list and then click on create form over here. Now, once our form has been created, I can begin customizing, you know, the image, the text, but I don't really need to customize it. I'm just going to make it live as I go. So from here, I can, you know, target a particular audience, targeting and behavior based upon our particular type of setup we want. Let's say after a visitor closes this form, show this form again after five days after zero days or after yeah zero days now usually people do set this on on one day i also do set it on one day the reason i'm doing it on zero days is to actually show you guys my pop-up 
Now below that you have the options of click outside the form on desktop on mobile to close the form. Then we have the timing. So this should be displayed immediately. Now we have targeting. So if I want to show this to existing Clavio profiles, to all my visitors, to specific profiles in a segment. Now I want to show this to everyone except my existing Clavio profiles. So just select existing Clavio profiles. Below that, you have your UTM parameters, locations, cart contents as well. Once we've done that, we can click on publish changes. You can add another step as well. So if you want another profile information, a SMS opt-in, anything, you can do that. But we have a direct success step. Once you have integrated this, we can go into our online store over here to see the actual usefulness of the pop-up or of the performance of the pop-up. So you guys can see our pop-up is now live. And if I click outside or just click on the cross icon, it will be closed. You can obviously change the form types and the styles of the form. So instead, if I want this to be a full screen form, I can click on edit over here. And once we click on edit, I can go on ahead and go into the style. And in my style, I want this to be a full pop-up or I want this to be even be a full page, a flyout embedded, but I'll make this a full pop-up. I have a background color. Let's customize this a little as well. We can add our own stylization into our Clavio pop-ups. And this is just one specific thing of Clavio. This is one feature in Clavio. If you actually want to use Clavio, you can do so much more. So you guys can see we have a nice little pop-up. They have a Clavio a watermark or a logo mark, but it is very minimalistic and can blend in easily with your pop-ups. Now, going back into Shopify, let's go on ahead and take a look at some of the other features that are provided by Clavio. So if I go on ahead and go into my Clavio dashboard, I can get started with building automations for my Shopify customers. I can click on campaigns or I can even show you guys the specific types of flows that Clavio already has. This includes welcome series abandoned cart. So if people are putting items in their carts and then not purchasing them, I can actually track that behavior on Shopify and then send emails automated emails from Clavio to the customer that, hey, we saw that you dropped this out of your cart. Would you like to purchase it? Here is uh, like a 10% discount. So you can click on get started on these pre-existing templates on Clavio, and you can use the customer behavior information that you gather on Shopify to be able to just automatically turn on these pre-existing templates. And I can just, I don't even have to customize a lot of this. I just have to build the emails that I want to send from your own personal branding and style and then you can go on ahead and review and turn on your particular flow or automation and you will be ready to start email marketing with Clavio and Shopify as well. It's a really useful integration and can be super beneficial especially if you're someone that wants a simple and easy to use email marketing tool and your business is not an extremely large business where you don't need the excessive features of you know hundreds of emails every day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.